Hello, art fun people. You are in, I am in, my bedroom at the Hayward Gallery, my exhibition. It's a reconstruction of a show I did in 1993 when my parents went on holiday. I did an exhibition in the house in their absence. This is a reconstruction of my parents' toilet because I, um, I used their toilet in the exhibition. And this is a series of graffiti from the men's toilets at the British Library from the early 90s. So it's a mixture of very funny and quite obscene graffiti, but also very intellectual. So it's a great mixture. I don't have a studio. I work from home, I have an office. And a lot of my work is done with other people's help. And it takes many forms. It can be films, little bits of paper, uh, music events, all sorts of things. But I'm not a typical artist in the sort of studio, canvas, paint. I work in other ways. Art can take many forms and one of them is how I work. This is a, a couch where people who are melancholic or reading can lie or sit for the day. And behind them is a big wall painting entitled I Love Melancholy. When I was growing up, it was a, you know, there's less opportunities to, to be distracted. With the internet now, it's, it's a different thing, but hopefully there's still a feeling of it, because it's, quite, it's a potentially quite a creative feeling. This is Valerie's Cafe, or Snack Bar, which is a, a copy of a snack bar in Berry Market, and I thought I'd quite like to have a copy of that on the back of a lorry going through the streets of Manchester, because it was such an amazing social space. And I, in a way, trying to replicate that social space in the, in the gallery, so that's why people are serving tea, but it sort of works. I came back there at the weekend and people were using it as a cafe and were sitting there chatting. I had to make sure it wasn't just a, uh, an exhibition of a place where you can sit down and read books about things I've done. It had to be the, the things in themselves, or at least something that has an, an experiential element to it, and a, an element that, of the surprise, let's, let's put it like that. So the restaging of rooms is important to make it dramatic and to make people think that they're not just looking at an exhibition of things that have happened, but actually part of something that's happening, hence this. This is something that's happening live. So that is important. So this is the poster I did about something I called the English Civil War Part Two, which is basically a sort of confrontation from the miners' strike. And I did this in 93, 94. But in 2001 I actually did it with about 900 people, 900 extras, fighting on a field in Yorkshire. And this room is about that. It's, this, this part is about the strike itself. Sort of a timeline of the strike. These two um, screens here have two bits of research, one of which is called History in Action. So from everything from Roman times to Second World War. They get together and, and, sh and, and do reenactments throughout the weekend. And then at the end of the weekend, they do this walk past where all the different armies walk past each other and salute each other. So here you have American soldiers saluting those pikemen. And then, the, I mean, I don't know what these armies are, but uh, sort of like 100 years war or something. And so you've got this big history sort of mashup, I think you'd call it now, or just you get 2,000 years of military history just saluting itself. And I was almost as much interested in reenactors as I was in miners, and about how people view British history and how they reenact history and what they call living history. So. This section I thought was important to put in the show because um, I thought it was good to end on a, on a downer. Even though I've got this lovely big show on at the moment, certain things don't work out as you hope sometimes. And so this is a section called My Failures, which is basically projects that I would wish I'd been able to do. And I got quite far along the road to doing, or fairly far along the road to doing, but we got rejected for whatever reason. Uh, who are they? Oh yeah, oh good. They're melancholics. They're melancholics. 
There is a lot of joy in the show. There's a lot of lack of joy as well, but there's a real mix. I'm not a sort of happy person, necessarily. I'm not a depressive, but I'm not overwhelmingly happy. I'm in the middle somewhere. So I sort of make art to make, keep me interested and happy. Where's our tea?